Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. You know, I get a lot of requests, but this one came from somebody who saw a picture on Pinterest and sent it to me. Her name is Hayden P. And she said, Sophie, I saw the cutest thing on Pinterest. Can you recreate it for me? Because I can't figure out how to make it. Well, this is what we're going to be making. It's a little clip with a special message. See that? So I'm going to teach you and Hayden P. how to make this really cute little message clip right now. So you don't need too much for this craft. However, I think I need to say one thing about this craft. It's deceptively tricky. It's not as easy as it looks like it should be. So I'm just going to throw that out there just so you know. It's deceptively tricky. Okay, so for this, you're going to need a little bit of paper. It doesn't matter what color, and it doesn't have to be too, too big a piece. Um, and it should be like uh, Xerox paper quality. You know, it doesn't need to be thick. It's just regular paper. Um, you're going to need a clothespin. This is important. Now, you want to try to get the smoothest clothespin you can. Um, some of the clothespins that I had were a little rough, and this is um, a little bit smoother. But you want to make sure you try to get the smoothest clothespin you can. You're going to need a little work surface. You're going to need a little teeny bit of white duct tape, unless you want your envelope to be a different color. And if you want it to be a different color, you can. So a little bit of white duct tape. Some scissors. I've got um, some Sharpie pens here, and these are, this is important, these are fine line ones. You need to make sure that you have fine line, and they want to be permanent. You're going to need a pencil, and this is important. Pencil with an eraser, and you're going to need that X-Acto knife. And I've got my big Sharpie here, too. I don't know if I'll need that or not. And then I've got my glue gun. And you only need a drop of it, but that's an important part of this. Okay, so first thing first, I'm going to take a little piece of my tape here. I don't need a lot. This is where the X-Acto knife is going to come in handy. What I'm going to do whoop, is take my clip, and I want to measure with my tape. First thing I want to do is get rid of that jaggedy edge. So let me just do that real quick. Get rid of that jaggedy edge. There we go. So we'll get rid of that jaggedy edge. And what I want to do is I want to measure up to that cut right there where the um, spring is. So right to that cut. So I'm going to measure. I'm going to use my pencil just to mark right where that is. And of course, it's not quite on one of the lines, but that's OK. I can eyeball this. And I'm just going to cut right along there. I'm going to hold that off for the side. And now what I want to do is cut my piece of paper. Now, when I do my piece of paper, this is really super important. I want to take the paper, and I want to make sure that its edge is square. There we go. Lay your clip on the piece of paper so that you're getting the clip width. And then what you want to do is draw a line with your pencil. Now, here's where it gets a little tricky. You want to open up your clip. Now, you don't want to use the outer edge. You want to use the inner edge. Line the inner edge up with that line, and then where that upper inner edge is, just mark it with another line. So it's really, really important that you get it right on that inside, so where that opening is. And then lay your clip down again and draw another line. Now, once again, we want to make this as exactly the width of our duct tape here. So we're just going to do a little measure here. And now what I'm going to do is just cut straight up. So I'm making the tiniest of rectangles, basically. Now, at this line, what I want to do is fold it right at that little line. And then I want to fold this at that line. I'm folding it back so that it makes like a little card. See that? So like a little card, like a little door that opens. They lay on top of each other. Now, what I want to do is turn it so that these flaps are on the bottom and fold this in half. 
And now when I open it, I should get a letter M. So see how it's like a little a letter M with the two long sides and a valley fold in the middle. Now, where you see those fold marks from when you folded on the edges, cut away and cut away. So now you totally have the letter M. See that? Or the letter W, if you look at it that way. Okay, now, open this up and erase any marks that you have there. Okay, and now fold it back again onto itself. There you go. And now what you want to do is open it up and write your little message. Now, one thing to remember is if you do use a Sharpie pen, you're probably going to bleed through. So you want to make sure that when you put this in, that your message is facing the right direction. Otherwise, you'll see the reverse. Okay, so I wrote my little message. I'm going to fold it up and just put it off to the side for just a second while I get my area cleared here. Okay. I'm going to make the envelope part. So what I do is take my piece of tape and line it up right there with the end of my clip. So I lined it up with the end of the clip. And yes, I've got some overhang here. Don't worry about that. So basically, you can see I'm taping this shut. Now I'm going to flip it over here. And using my X-Acto knife very carefully, I'm just going to cut right along the edge there to get rid of that extra. Flip it over cut right along that edge to get rid of that extra. Oops, got a little piece of wood there. And then just rub to make sure that this stays in place. Now what you're going to do is draw a little tiny envelope. So the first thing that I like to do is I like to outline the outer edges to make it look like a little rectangle. So that's the first thing. Then, I'm going to make the envelope part that comes down, the flap, like that. And then to make it really look like an envelope, I'm going to add those little lines on the side that on an envelope would seal it into place. So there you go. Now if I wanted to get fancy, I could put a little heart on here, or a little bit of embellishment here. Okay. Now. You're probably thinking to yourself, at this point, you can't open the clip. Well, that's where our X-Acto knife comes in. And what you're going to do is find that little hole there and just follow along where the cut of the clip needs to be so that it opens up. And you just want to clean that out real good. And there you go. So you can see that opens very easily. Now comes the really tricky part. This is the tricky part, and that is gluing in your note. Now, you want to make sure that the note is facing in the right direction. That is super important, because I can't tell you how easy it is to get it backwards, and then you end up with that, which is not good. Take a very tiny, tiny, tiny bead, as tiny as you can get, of hot glue on this edge here. And the most important thing is make sure that you're not gluing it shut. And then place this halfway in so that it's inserted a little bit in your clip there. Can you see how it's halfway in? That's important. Okay, now what I like to do to make sure that this doesn't glue shut is I like to pull my note this way. Just pull it out and let it rest for about 30 seconds so that you know that it's glued nice and solid and that the glue is dry before you go and do the top. Okay, so now fold your note back to the way it should be, which is in that letter M. And now we're going to add the glue. And again, this is where it gets tricky because you've got to get the glue onto here without sticking to the note itself. What you don't want to do is glue the note shut. So I have the littlest, tiniest bit, line it up with the half mark there, and let it shut. Okay. And again, let it go for about 30 seconds. And then it should be ready 
to reveal its little sweetness. Now, one last tiny little thing, and that is to write on here some words like, uh, it could be a mystery for you, or I have a message, dot, dot, dot. Or you have a message, or open up your letter, or whatever you wanted to say. But there you have it, a cute little secret message. And there you have it, a little clothespin clip with a secret message. Thank you, Hayden P., for sending me your idea. I have to tell you, I love when people send me pictures because it gets my mind going and trying to figure out how I would make it. Now, if you've got an idea and an image that you want to send to me for me to check out, write me an email at sophie at sophie-world.com, and I will try to recreate it just for you. For more fun stuff, come and check us out at sophie-world.com.